All right, so I'm going to do a uh, view here, a review on Davison, but it's more for um, also if you are a product inventor or you got an idea and you want to know exactly just the stuff that I've learned over the last three plus years. Patent Services USA is who I went through to get my um, patent. And then, um, you know, that, that took some time and it, and it wasn't cheap. I have a utility and an international patent. Now, did I need to do that? No, I did not. Um, but, you know, find out, you know, other ways that you can go about doing, getting a patent and stuff like that. So, normally, um, man, you don't even have to, uh, there's another thing you can file. And um, <clears throat> I'll talk about that in another video because I'll, I'll bring up the YouTube channel that talks about that and how you can do it and file it for as low as like 70 bucks. And basically you can like, you know, kind of hold that idea while they check, while there's a check being done to make sure nobody else has that idea. But it's a lot of work up front on your part to do that. If you're going to, you know, I always think you want to go with um, people that they do this for their job and that's kind of who I'm going with now which I will reveal later I'm in like phase two right now of my exercise equipment Davison um if you want to know before you um get rolling with them is it's going to cost you somewhere around 800 bucks to get the initial uh, paperwork going um what they'll end up doing is looking like the same thing they're going to look at if somebody else already got this idea so they're kind of doing a check to see if it's not already you know has a patent now they are very um it this is what i would i would use if um i didn't have a patent and you want to and say you really believe in your product that it's actually going to be something that's going to be, could possibly be in the big stores, the big chain stores like Walmart. And you want your product to, to be brought to fruition, meaning they will actually, you know, engineer that product, make it and package it so you can see what it looks like. And that's kind of how they go out to manufacturers or to companies to get deals. Now, the thing is, you're not going to own the patent because they're going to go and get a patent for you. That's what they did after I paid 800 bucks and I was going through the process. I thought they were going to use my patent. Well, they didn't. They came up and had a different, they were going to go after a different patent name. Um, in which I spent a lot of money, you know, to get my patent. So I wasn't going to throw all that down the drain and do this all over again though I if I would do this again I would have just went straight with Davis and then I wouldn't have had to worry about that because they would have done all that I would have been getting royalties on deals I'm trying to remember the exact pay I think it's an 80 20 percent deal you get 80 percent they get 20 percent on any big deals but there's royalties and um not sure I, this has been back since July so when I found out that they weren't going to use my patent, I basically just shut it off with them um, because it was going to cost me to have this whole thing done, um, like 18000 to have their patent and the product and, you know, brought to fruition and whatnot, where I paid, you know, more than that to get a um, utility and international patent with... Um, Patent Services USA. So, having a patent is is good in a lot of ways. There's a lot of people out there that have patents and just never went through and had their products made. But it's an asset, um, intellectual property. I mean, you you have you know an asset, and if you come up with some amazing idea that nobody else has come up with and 
and you believe in it, you know, just like watching Shark Tank, you, you got to go for your dream because it will eat you up if you don't. But there's better ways. So, and I'll reveal a little bit later on the company I'm using. That was probably who, <clears throat> who I would recommend, but there's other ones out there. Um, Davison, again, if you don't want to do, you want them to pretty much do all the work, you're going to have to pay, like I said, there's like an $800 fee up front that you're going to pay to get them kind of your prod, you know, product look like. And then there's like four phases that they go through um, doing this. And then they, you know, you got videos, they send you a video that you watch of how it all works and they're, they're, um, company is amazing um it's like it's like a disneyland type place that you can go and see all other inventions that were made so in in my case again um i have the patent i spent the money so i have that you know that that asset so i will be doing more on that um but I just wanted to put this out there about Davis and maybe I'll do one on Patent Services USA. Um, just for those people that do a search. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> people that do a search. And then um, my video will come up. But I have to specifically put it under that name. So this will be under Davison, so people know that this was a review on them. But again, if you don't want to, uh, you know, you... You let them do, you know, 800 bucks. They're going to be doing that major first part to see if anybody else has it. Normally, you can do that search. Most people know to go to Google. Type it in. You type it in. You know, you're looking at anybody that's crafted anything that you're thinking of. And you can look at the images. You can go through and scroll. So, I done that. And I actually grabbed a name, you know, for mine. <clears throat> and um, got the, you know, the dot .com. So nobody else would take it. That wasn't the name that's under my um, patent because the patent's going to be um, under a completely different different uh, name. Um, like I went after Push Up Force, and that's kind of what they wanted to do was is how they were going to package it. And I was kind of like, well, it's not the name of the patent. They, you know, and I kind of figured out they were doing going to do a different patent that they would own so they would own that property that is what i figured out that they do they they they're going to own that asset instead of you owning the asset but if you got something and you don't really want to um normally how it works is you have a uh, a patent you have the idea you get the drawings all done companies out there they'll go through the phases they want to see your sketches they're going to do the sketches then they're going to run course and a check to see who's got something if there's anything out there that's similar and then it's how much is it going to cost you're talking your price margins how much to build it and um see i think mine came in a range of somewhere three dollars and something to four dollars to have mine done, um, built but you know i think mine can be sold anywhere from shoot 89 you know how it normally comes it goes out it's kind of a higher price and then it eventually comes back down um normally if it gets into the big stores it's going to be you know somewhere around i would think mine would go for 49 eventually probably down to 39.99 but the margins are still really good it's a uh, an amazing uh product that i have that i came up with and i use mine now for three years the one that i built and most people, when they build, you know, when you build your idea, like if it's a fitness idea or whatever, you usually cannibalize some other product. You take another piece of equipment and completely rip it apart to build yours using duct tape. And that's kind of how mine started, just to see if it worked. And then I went from there to, I have access to cutting materials and um, where I can cut metal and and I put it together, you know, got it together and drills and, you know, and the thing is an simply amazing um, 
product that if I would have seen this thing a long time ago, I would have had no hesitation at all to buy it. So they wouldn't even, you know, I wouldn't, I mean, I tell people, only a few people about it and they were instantly like, they would not hesitate and they'd get it also. So I, you know, I kind of talked about it with people I knew that would, you know, I told them don't, you know, keep it hush hush just to get their idea um and everybody that's seen it is um literally like damn um so hopefully in the future i'll be able to present that so it takes a while you know it's it, it does take time this process now has been going on for me for three years so i went with this you know company and because they treat it as a you know you have asset you have a you know property intellectual property um so that's how they treat your patent where the other one davison wasn't going to do that they were going to create their own patent so i understand that that's kind of how that company runs it's but you know they're going to put all that up front effort they got all the engineers there i understand that some people just want royalty deals and uh, whatever kind of you know deals you can um come up with and i think they negotiate that too that's the same thing with people i'm going with they'll they got a, they got their um their file of people to reach out to and they've shown what they've done in the past and then that's kind of the other thing you want to look at so anyway this was davison um uh, very pr professional um, by the way they do their stuff top notch but i de you know basically gave them eight hundred dollars and um that to move on you know and for me to figure out i wasn't going to go with them because of the i have my patent so for those people out there that have a patent and you just kn just know that they're going to probably not use your patent i'm not quite understanding why they wouldn't use my patent because you know it still would have been a a good margin cut on their part and i just wanted the cost to be a lot lower than having to spend money to get this you know another patent on something so that's how that went um stay tuned